Hi guys, I'm Shmi, hello and welcome back to the channel where today is going to be epic, believe me. We're here at Essa and have a look at this jaw-dropping view around, but I'm catching up with my friend Mike, Shin Mike Yin, who I've filmed with many times in California, who recently purchased that Pagani Zonda F out in the USA, which he's flown over here to Europe to take part in a few events. And today we're going to take for a drive on the de-restricted German Autobahn. And I think if I'm really lucky, I might even get the opportunity to get behind the wheel of the Pagani Zonda F on the Autobahn. This is moderately surreal. Let's head downstairs and have a quick look around, check out the Zonda before pulling it outside to go for a drive. It is not every day that you see a view like this hypercar paradise here at Essa. They are Koenigsegg and Rimac here in northern Germany, and this is a breathtaking lineup at the moment. But let's come straight through to the car of the day, Mike's Pagani Zonda F. Now, earlier this year, out in California, we checked out his new at the time Zonda R, the race car, and even took it to the track where he pushed it, and that was an epic experience. But this has now been acquired to the collection, one of 25 Zonda Fs that Pagani made, manual gearbox, massive naturally aspirated screaming V12 engine, and this color scheme is beautiful. The navy blue paintwork, the gold wheels, a very smart specification. All of the Zondas these days have very unique looks, but this is absolutely spot on and it is surrounded by hypercar royalty, Koenigsegg and Pagani heaven. We've got the CCX here, we've got the Regera sitting just alongside, another Koenigsegg tucked back there, 650S Can-Am, those are very rare. We've got the Mercedes SLR McLaren 722, we've got a pair of Porsche 918 Spiders, the red car is a Vice package, and the other silver car beyond. We've got a GT3 RS here in the white and red, next to it is a very uniquely specced McLaren Senna, the lovely yellow F12 TDF, C63 AMG Black Series, Speciale Aperta, Koenigsegg CCR. This is actually chassis number one, Pagani Huayra, number one of the 100. And it is a car I have seen a few times before, in fact, in London many years back. We've got an SLS AMG. We've got an 05 Heritage Ford GT, Ferrari F8 Spider, 997 GT2 RS, SL65 AMG Black Series, another GT2 RS, a lovely white Porsche Carrera GT, Rosso Fuoco F12 TDF, the full carbon bodied McLaren Senna, this very nice satin blue Koenigsegg Agira R, the CC. ATS, one of the very early Koenigseggs, the Heritage livery, new Ford GT, 1960s GT500 Mustang, another Ferrari F8, a Speciale. That is quite the lineup, but today is all about this. And I can't quite believe that in a moment, I'm gonna be jumping on board for a ride and then potentially a drive in a Zonda F here in Germany. So let's get it started. I think we might do a little bit of shuffling, pull that car outside and then go see what it's like. Mike, how are you doing? Good, good, good to see you in Germany, eh? <laughs> it's good to see you here. Congratulations. Another Zonda. Thank you, thank you. A pretty epic Zonda. I'm very excited. I'm very happy. <laughs> and today should be awesome. Should we get it started and take the car out? Of course. We'll get the uh, start-up sound of this stunning thing. No other way to look at it. Some unique details, as I said, like the shark fin it has over the back. Let's take a listen. <laughs> this is gonna sound so good under load in a moment. All right, let's pull it out. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Zondas are the stuff of legends and will forever be something truly, truly special. And now in some more good company with the Agira X as well, the satin black Koenigsegg Agira, Pagani and Koenigsegg. This is so nice, congratulations, Mike. I love this car. I actually saw this very car out in California uh, about three years ago or so. It used to be registered in South America and it was there during Monterey Car Week. It's amazing now to see it again. Yeah, truly, truly. <laughs> well, that hurt my ears a little bit. Slightly unexpected. <laughs> Can't resist when it's with this, can you? No. <laughs> sound of that. That sounds actually really quite good. I know, it has a very special sound for some reason. It's just even higher pitched, even more kind of raw and raspy. Anyway, um, yeah, I guess in a moment we're heading out. 
Sounds good. Right, step on board in the Pagani Zonda. It is very low and very awkward to climb it. It's really nice in here, isn't it? I know. It's so pretty inside. Everything's beautiful. And yes, okay, it looks a little bit older, but these came out more than 20 years ago. It's classic. It it's is. Classic. It's genuinely a classic. Right. Door closed. Window automatically goes up. It feels so low in front of you as well. With true wing mirrors out on the wings, not door mirrors. Right, so let me get built it up and we will go. First stop, gas station, petrol station. Yes. And then onwards from there. This is so cool. I'm really excited right now. <laughs> you get excited every time you drive this? Obviously. This is the most exciting car for me. Yeah, the I've dream. I've driven a few cars, but this is the one. The one. Yep. This is it. Cool. And we will be joining the GTS today as well. Cool. All right. Off we go. Oh. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That sound is heavenly. Only 3,000 RPM. But even at 3,000 RPM, that is perfection. V12, over seven liters, revs up to eight, seven. seven thousand or so, and we're going to be hearing probably a little bit of that. <laughs> I like that, of course. More. Of course, of course. This is so cool. And the view outside as well, by the way, over the back, towards the wing. I think I've died gone to heaven and I'm only in the passenger seat right now. <laughs> we appear to be heading to the autobahn. Stand 
turning at the side of the road and a Zonda drove past, I would absolutely lose my mind. Yes. Even me, as an owner of a Zonda, I will take my camera out. You'd be like, what? Another one? I'll buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I will catch up to the to the car and say, hey, can I buy it? <laughs> what a maniac. <laughs> How many Paganis are in your collection now? It's on the R's, on the F. Yes, the Wire uh, BC. Wire BC. Wire Roaster. Wire Roaster. And uh, Wire R on the way. Oh, nice. Yeah, this. <laughs> finalized. So currently four, heading towards five, five. past 20 past police cars. <laughs> past my car, so... These are all your friends? The police cars? I hope, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, plus your friends' cars, some of which we've seen. The green Roadster BC we yeah. went out in together. The Imola. Oh yeah, the Imola we went in together. He also has uh, Zonda and um, YR, so that's four. Plus my five, that's another friend. Ten, ten already. So the whole collection already. <laughs> How you doing? Hi! <laughs> that's cool. Everywhere. Yeah, here we are, Canning's Alley. Oh, nice, 718 Spider in green with gold wheels. Oh, I like that. That's very me. That's like the same spec as my Taycan, but on a 718 Spider, which I would really like, with gold badges. This person has good taste. That's a lovely car. Sorry, I just got sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> but it is one of my favorite cars, the 718, but my GT4 and that Spider. will be very happy when you film <laughs> in the Zonda about his car. Yeah. <laughs> We've had a little bit of a checkpoint. The weather today is all over the place as we're going back towards the sun. This is still sounding truly fantastic. But uh, I think we're going to be heading now back towards the autobar. challenge now is whether we can find anywhere that's dry. Which seems increasingly unlikely, I think. <laughs> so we experience driving this and thankfully the sun is now coming out yep. so we can uh, enjoy a little bit more then in the morning all right there's no easy technique to getting in here it's a little bit difficult oh I need to slide the seat back a bit <laughs> <laughs> so I can actually squeeze in lean the seat forwards behind me there we go okay here we are Zondra F style Gosh, this is cool. Can I just do uh, madness? <laughs> the sound of the 812 behind. Right, I need to give you this. Silent. If that's all right. And then I need to put my stuff away. Do we have any storage trays in here? Not Actually, really. it's on the side, right there. Ah, oh, yes, perfect. This is exactly what I needed. Okay. Into gear. Thank you for trusting me with this mic. No worries. <laughs> Let's. Uh, get started. I probably need to go a touch further back with the seat. There we go. Okay, this feels a little bit mad. Lift system in here. Just it's on gonna... top left corner. It's a button up here, right? Yep. And if Press it's it. red, it's raised. So there we go. Lift system goes up. Perfect. We need that to get out of this driveway. Right, lift system down. I'm only slightly intimidated by driving alongside trucks through traffic like this. Oh well, it's all good. The road opens up a little bit in front of us. This is so sweet, but the clutch bike point is right up at the top of the travel. That's quite unusual actually, we've got the windows down at the moment, let me just close those. It's a little bit quieter in here, there we go. Plenty of engine sounds still, if I drop it down. Speed limited here. 
here at the moment. We're getting a touch familiar with how you drive this car, and it looks like it's getting dry in front of us, which is a complete delight right now. That'll be good. Gosh. We'll get to the on the restricted areas. Yes, that is exactly what we're going to need. And it's good to have a little moment just to get acclimatized. Here we go. The restricted sign right in front of us. Okay, then, so we drop it down.
of thing that we hear much massively louder, louder yes. but the video will probably just be a small little pop in the background. The sound of the power of the fireball. I'm impressed by the very linear power and the feel of the naturally aspirated V12, how much power there is, how much early torque there is. Anywhere in the rev range, it drives beautifully all the way through. go in the driveway, red equals raised, back at base, and your top is just totally mega, totally mega. Should I just park this right in the middle? Yes, <laughs> beside your car, in front of your car actually. Let's get back in touch. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it here. <laughs> Do you know what I haven't done yet? <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> Mike, thank you. You're welcome. That was so good. I'm sure you enjoyed a lot. A little bit. A little bit. Just wait until next year. Now I've got to get in that thing. It's going to feel like such a downgrade. <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> wow, that was cool. Thank you so much. As the sun now starts to set here back at Essa, that, as I said at the very beginning, was categorically epic. There is no other way to describe the experience on the Autobahn with Mike's Pagani Zonda F. 
With him driving just over 300 kilometers an hour, I went just shy of 300 kilometers an hour in this extraordinary car, a car that brings so many emotions with it. That screaming engine, the sound, the feel, the engagement, everything to do with this astonishing thing. And the Zonda F is, well, one of an icon. Every Zonda is one of an icon. It was the first model from Pagani. It is a beautiful car in every way. It will always be a legend. There are only a hundred and something of them in total, 25 Zonda Fs, the manual gearbox, that engine. And for me, the clean looks of this car as well. It is just about perfect. The smooth bodywork of the main carbon fiber clams with a small sense of aggression from the splitter, the flicks around the side. If we come towards the back, that small shark fin, which was an add-on to this car and the spoiler, which sits all the way across the back, but isn't overkill, isn't too much. Of course, there are so many different variations from the Cinque's and the Tricolores, but through to the 760s, and all the one-offs and unique specifications. But this to me is effectively the perfect package. You can open everything up. The rear clam opens towards the back to give you a view of the engine. You've got the luggage storage compartments on each side. You've got the front clam that opens forwards as well. It becomes a complete transformer and the driving cockpit is completely enclosed by this glass house. All of this is glass. You've got the carbon fiber trim that runs all the way down. This is one piece that runs all the way down around the front and up over the other side as well, which looks really, really smart. It is a very, very special car. A huge congratulations to Mike on not only acquiring it, but also bringing it here to Europe very last minute, all arranged by the fantastic guys here at ESSA as well, to get this to Supercar Owners Circle, to take part in a number of different things. And well, for me, luckily today, to get the opportunity to get behind the wheel. Now I have driven a Zonda F before. I've driven a Zonda S Roadster. I've driven a Zonda Cinque Roadster and now another Zonda F as well, which is totally, totally surreal. But what an awesome day with my crazy friend, Mike, Shin Mike Yin, another legendary moment to remember forever. And I'm sure it won't be the last. In fact, stay tuned for some pretty cool stuff coming up. So if you aren't already following Mike, do go and give him a follow. I'll pop his link down below. A huge thanks to him. A huge thanks as well to the team here at ESSA for today, which has been totally, totally unreal. That's it for now though. Thanks also to you guys for your support as always, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.